Saving a life in a structure fire is very rare. What happened Monday on South Jennings Avenue doesn't happen often. This is my second save I've ever had. It can take an emotional toll on firefighters. It's never easy to find someone who is uh, fighting for their life. Doesn't matter if you've only been a firefighter for five months like Morgan Hicks. I think you just hoped that you were there in time. Or 17 years like Joey Gann. Well, this was a very traumatic thing for me, which I'm okay with it. That's my job and that's what I signed up to do. Just before four Monday afternoon, Fort Worth Fire responded to an apartment above a garage where they found a 32 year old man out front. The man was telling us that he had children inside that structure. Two little boys, one and four years old, trapped inside. Heavy smoke, visibility was low, um, difficult to find those children in that environment for sure. Thankfully, Morgan and Joey found the two boys who were eventually taken to Children's in Dallas. Their father was flown to Parkland. Over the last two years, we are, we are finding people in structures more often than ever. It's alarming and they're still trying to figure out why, but Fort Worth firefighters are prepared for it. With the training that we've had, I feel like we did the best thing possible for those children. Fort Worth Fire is still investigating the cause of the fire. Preliminary evidence points to it being accidental. In the meantime, we have got to make sure that our residents have working smoke detectors in their homes. Fort Worth Fire doesn't believe Monday's home did. If you do not have one, if you cannot afford one, we will provide that for you. It's their hope smoke detectors will prevent another family from going through something like this again. We know that they are hurting. In Fort Worth. Our thoughts and prayers are with them. I'm Ariel Placencia.